Hey, yo. It's E King Fight News. Let's talk about the WBC rankings, corruption in boxing, and you know we got more on this. All right, so we all know what happened. Anthony Joshua got his heart taken from him in the fight against your boy Andy Ruiz. And Anthony Joshua, almost out of nowhere, is being ranked number three. Number three in the WBC rankings. That would put him ahead of Luis King Kong Ortiz, which is strange. That would put him ahead of, um, I think, I swear Tyson Fury was number three. But he must be number two now. But still, there was a top five guys. There were five guys who fought for their spot on the WBC rankings. Luis Ortiz being one of them. How did how does Anthony Joshua magically become number three in the WBC rankings? Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up and shout out to um, Boxing with Aid. Shout out to that brother. Uh, he, cause, cause he put me on to the information. So um, credit to him. All right, there you go. Let's take a quick look. We got the world champion, Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder at number one. What else do we have? Dillian White, Tyson Fury, who's been upgraded to number two. Anthony Joshua somehow gets a total pass. Total pass ahead of Adam Kowanaki, ahead of Joseph Parker. Ahead of Luis King Kong Ortiz. Okay, these are three guys that, you know, have been fighting and have been active, leech, you know, campaigning to fight Deontay Wilder. Parker, not, not really. Okay, Joseph Parker has not been campaigning to fight Deontay Wilder. But Kawanaki, I believe he, I believe he passed up the opportunity to fight AJ. And that's how Andy Ruiz was was uh, gifted that that position, right? Kawanaki passed up on it. Ortiz priced himself out, but lo and behold, Anthony Joshua finds his way as the number three in the WBC. Man, if that isn't corruption in boxing, I don't know what is. You know these these rankings. It's all it's all about who's got that bread to put up. That's why. That's why. Doesn't matter who who's ranked over who. Doesn't matter that Dillian White is ranked number one. He ain't a mandatory. He's been ranked number one for how long? Is he a mandatory? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why is that? <coughs> because the WBC has favoritism toward Al Heyman. We all know it. We all know it. WBC has favoritism to whoever's lining their pockets. Point blank and period. If Al Heyman doesn't want to make that fight, it's not going to happen. What'd I say? If Al Heyman doesn't want to make that fight, it's not going to happen. All fact. So right now there's definitely, you know, a bit of a shuffle in the heavyweight division. There's a little bit of realignment going on. Tyson Fury still finds himself somewhere near the top. Along with Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder with all the belts. But will they get split up? You know, will they get split up? Where's the breaking point? Who's Deontay Wilder really fighting next? Is it really Luis Ortiz? As he himself came out and said, and what the fuck is Anthony Joshua doing at number three in the WBC rankings, man? 
Shit's corrupt, man. Shit is corrupt as a motherfucker. You know what? It's time. Right now, it's time. If the if the WBC, if boxing the sport as a whole, continues to take advantage, to exploit the system, to continue the payoffs, it's time for E King Fight News to expose the game. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Over and over again. Sick and tired of just talking about it. Let's be about it, man. I'm tired of the bum bashes. I'm tired of the mismatches, whether it's on PBC, whether it's on ESPN Top Rank. Whether it's on the zone, I'm I'm sick of this sport, man. Right now, I'm just sick of it. You know. So it's time to expose boxing for what it is. So we're gonna talk about corruption in boxing. That's gonna be the theme for July: corruption in boxing. And we gonna go in, all the way in. We're going to talk about what's wrong with the sport. And on the flip side, how can we fix the sport? Because uh, right now we got a champion that really is has got limited options. We got Andy Ruiz, who's got to fight Anthony Joshua in a rematch. Nothing wrong with that fight. That's a good fight. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean we're going to ignore shit like this. That doesn't mean Anthony Joshua should get a fast track to a title shot. Because clearly, if he loses to Andy Ruiz, guess what? He can fall back. Anthony Joshua can now fall back on this ranking. So it's a whole lot of bullshit going on. Let's talk about it. It's King Fight News. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. What do you guys think about AJ now being ranked as number three in the WBC? It's E-King Fight News, and I'm out. Peace.